Sup, Nerd Amigos. I'm the Drive Talking Nerd, John Norgrove, and this is Nerd Drive. We're going to make today pretty quick. I, uh, I'm going to go crabbing tomorrow, so hopefully you guys will get some sweet footage of me swimming in the ocean and making a general ass of myself. But, uh, so I wanted to go to bed early and kind of get everything done ahead of time. Also, I just downloaded a brand new video game. Uh, so I got it on Steam. It's in like pre-alpha. It's called Oxygen Not Included. Like there's a bajillion Let's Plays of it on on YouTube right now. It's like super hot. Watch it. Uh, you're, if you like strategy games and like uh, that kind of like hyper management. I mean, you have to manage oxygen and CO2 and 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 uh, hydrogen and contaminated oxygen and and you know different kind of ores and you gotta man you gotta manage everything and it's so much fun um i downloaded it last night and i played it last night suit until pretty late and then this morning when i got up to go to work i uh, <laughs> booted it up and played it this morning uh while i was uh, before I headed to work and like ended up almost uh, ended up being late to work because of it but it's it's totally worth it like download this game it's gonna consume your fucking life uh, but anyway so on to the news so first up Telltale Games is gonna do a Guardians of the Galaxy game how exciting is that I mean Telltale has done awesome games and Guardians of the Galaxy is just uh, such a great mo series of movies. I mean, I haven't seen the second one yet, obviously, but it's going to be so good. So, like, I'm so excited. So, you know, keep an eye out for that. Telltale is making Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, next up. All right, so NASA's budget. This is kind of awesome, and I sort of didn't expect it coming from NASA. But so NASA's budget for, uh, for this year is primarily space travel focused. And what, what that means is that, uh, cause their budget can have stipulations and not have stipulations. So uh, a lot of their earth based scientific research has to be put on the back burner because um, Congress really, really wants their SLS system and their Orion crew capsule to be up and goddamn running. So they're like, do it, just make it happen. In fact, from what I've read, in the budget, it stipulates that they have at least one unmanned launch by 2018. No! All right, where was I? Anyway, okay, so... Um, yeah, that's awesome. NASA, like, getting it. All right, so next up, Wonder Woman news. So, I guess Wonder Woman just had, a like, a Brazilian trailer or something, and it sort of hinted at, or I, I, I don't really get where it's coming from, but there's this hint that maybe there will be an R-rated release of Wonder Woman. And this is what I have to say about that. I hope beyond hope that Wonder Woman's a good movie. I don't think it's going to be. I don't think it's going to be from the pure and simple fact that Warner Brothers and DC have not brought us any good superhero movies. In all reality? Ever. Um, since the Dark Knight series, right? So post Dark Knight, we've had hot garbage, just complete shite. So I think Wonder Woman's gonna be shit for that reason alone. I want it to be good, I really want it to be good because I would love competition in the marketplace so Marvel can get better and DC can get better and we can all be getting adults about the bloody thing. But I don't think Wonder Woman's gonna be good. In fact, what I'm most concerned about, and I believe I've mentioned this before in a video, is that woman, Wonder Woman is going to be preachy uh, and it's not, uh, don't get me wrong, it's not some sort of a, like, anti-feminist fucking whatever, like, rhetoric thing. All right, I think the movie's gonna be preachy in the sense that I've, I'm really certain they're aware of the fact that the last movie was shit, and I think that they're aware of the fact that the next movie, the Justice League movie, is gonna be shit, and now that Batman's falling apart, that's gonna be shit, and, and it sounds like maybe uh, the Flash movie, standalone movie, is going to be shit. And they're kind of like, listen, we're going to make Wonder Woman really good. 
and we're gonna make Aquaman really good and everything else is gonna be garbage and you people aren't gonna pay for it anyway. And so I think that it's gonna be preachy in this like, listen, we have to put everything in this. There, we, you know, what do we, what, what do we wanna get across? That Wonder Woman's a strong woman? Crank it to 11. What do we wanna get across? That World War I was fucked up? Crank it to 11. What do we wanna get across? That she's a, uh, you know, daughter of Zeus? Crank it to 11. I think that everything, and it's it's not it's not like a, you know, uh, like a crazy thing. Um, I mean, you know, I'm not trying to get that, but I think that Wonder Woman's going to try to, I think it's going to be a try hard. That's a much better way of saying it. I think it's going to be preachy, but I think it's going to be a try hard of a movie because they have so much hope in it. And clearly they don't let directors and writers and people uh, that aren't idiots have a hand in this. They let the studio have a hand in it. And obviously they don't know what they're doing. We all watched Bats and Soups. That movie was shit. The movie was shit from the fucking trailers on. Everybody knew that movie was gonna be shit. And then when it came out and everybody was just like, remember that one scene that was kind of badass? And you're like, yeah. And then you're like, remember all the other scenes that were fucking hot garbage? And you're like, yeah, I do remember all the scenes that were hot garbage. Bam, like it was obvious. So, I mean, I think Wonder Woman's gonna try too goddamn hard, but whatever. I hope it works out. Uh, I think the rated R, th oh, we're gonna do a rated R cut is like, Fox is succeeding with rated R movies. Maybe we can try to bite into that soup. Um, it's not gonna work. Don't do a theater re-release, all right? You did that with Bloody Bats and Soups and that was garbage. And j just, I mean, don't, just make a movie. If the movie should be rated R, make it rated R. If it should not be rated R or doesn't need to be rated R, don't make it rated R. Don't do this like we're gonna double dip in these movies. It only makes shit worse. I just... Mm. DC, Warner Brothers, get your shit together. It's not that fucking hard, man. I mean, you know, you... You have better villains. You have more easily recognized characters. Doctor Strange, a, a character that 99% of people have never bloody heard of, all right, was a great, just a fucking great movie, all right? But, but Bats and Soups, arguably the two biggest superheroes in the genre, and their movie was shit. So, what do you what do you what are you gonna do? You know, everybody who's had a hand in it, fire them out of a cannon into the sun, and then just hire new people. And there's a the thing. Oh, there's all this stuff with Batman. Just bloody get a new one if that's what the issue is. Oh, uh, Batflick doesn't want to direct it anymore. Fine, get somebody else. But just do something that's going to guarantee it's good. You don't have to add silly humor because Marvel did it. You don't have to add a, a nostalgic soundtrack because Marvel did it. You don't need to make it rated R because Fox through Marvel did it. Just make your own path. There are so many stories to do. I mean, a good example is that all, and I mean all, of the animated DC movies are just fantastic. Uh, Gods and Monsters, fantastic fantastic movie uh, uh justice league gods and monsters is so fucking good man watch that um uh what's the other one that i saw justice league dark was so good oh the whole batman having like eight lines the entire movie thing was fantastic it, they're so good your animated movies are so good just take one of those all right so what you do is you take your animated movie team all right, and then you bring them outside of the dungeon that you keep them in so they have to experience the sunlight. And then you say, like, listen, this is Ben Affleck. He's playing Batman. This is bloody whoever's playing Superman and bloody whoever's playing Wonder Woman. We need you guys to direct them like the cartoons and then just g give these guys money and freedom and let them do a thing because then you don't have a successful movie that can compete. And right now, you're not competing and it's it's... Horseshit. Just absolute horseshit. DC, get your stuff together. All right. I would not be surprised if this wasn't drastically affecting your comic book sales, also, because you make bad movies. So, why would somebody want to read the comic that a bad movie's based on? 
whatever. I mean, hell, Ryan Reynolds' Green Lantern was a better movie than Bloody Bats and Soups, which is depressing because that was a garbage movie, but it wasn't necessarily as hot or as garbagey as Bats and Soups. So let's hope Wonder Woman works out and DC get your, just get your foot out of your ass and get the job done, please. All right, end of that rant. Sorry, that subject just, it's sore to me because I want good, I'm a comic book nerd, I want good goddamn comic book movies. All right, last two pieces of news real quick. <sighs> Back on space again, Jeff Bezos and Blue Origins want to colonize the moon. They want to have a big hand in colonizing the moon and they want it to happen as quickly as humanly possible. Just, just give them money. Give Elon Musk and SpaceX money. Give Jeff Bezos and Blue Origins. But just give space programs money. We need to get off this planet. Oh, we got a, we got war and we got uh, social issues and people aren't as equal as other people or fucking whatever. Just garbage political stuff is happening right now. Uh, most of it, most of it will be solved by us having more land mass and being like, listen, I understand that you guys want to think your way. Go over there. Right now, we don't have over there. So just b build over there, give them over there, let them do their thing. They will either succeed because their thoughts and ideas are correct or they'll fail because they believe in garbage ideals. Whichever ideals you think that is, I don't want to get into politics. I mean, I do and one day I will, but that's going to be very alienating so i'm not going to do it right now but it just just <sighs> let's let's become a multi-planet species we need the bloody hope so let's push into that anytime you see anything involving spacex or blue origins or nasa share that on facebook Sh tweet about it put it on instagram do a youtube video about it share 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 get that stuff out there all these goddamn young people protesting whatever the hell they're protesting, whether it's the left or the right or freedoms or a lack of freedoms or, or trying to take freedoms away from people. I don't know what people protest, but whatever the hell people are protesting, what you should be doing is taking at least a 10% of that time and energy and sign making garbage and talk about space and promote space programs because that's the future. That's the future where you get to live in a city on another planet or you get to bloody fly, have flying cars and all this kind of stuff, all right? There are two big promoters to technological development. One is war and we don't want war and the other one is goddamn space travel. So go out there in space travel. Oh, we can't grow crops because fucking whatever, global warming or whatever the hell's keeping us from growing crops. Space travel would solve that problem because then you have aquaponic systems or hydroponic systems or vertical farming, which also do some research into vertical farming. It's hyper depressing that we don't do it. Just whatever, man, that's a separate and distinct issue. All right, the last thing I wanted to talk about because this movie's all, the, movie this episode is already longer than i wanted it to be and i got video gaming to do and, and don't i don't i don't want to do any of this right now um because i've been drinking and i'm tired and i want to play some video games and i'm just i'm just i haven't even had dinner yet but um so the last thing is they're going to do a live action aladdin and there's an open casting call from disney so i don't know what that means but we're gonna get a live action Aladdin, which I am partially super excited about because I love Aladdin. It's like one of my all time favorites. And at the same time, completely terrified about because I don't know. Like, live action Jungle Book was good, but very different and maybe not enough singing. I wanted more singing in that. And now they have uh, live action Beauty and the Beast is coming out and that looks okay. I'm a little concerned about it uh, and we're getting a live action Lion King, which I don't think they're going to do a good job with. Again, more music. We want to sing along to Disney. We put more music in. Uh, but live action Aladdin. I can't think of any person who can play the genie well. That's my concern. The genie is the heart and soul of that, in, of that movie, series of movies, as well as the Aladdin animated TV series from the 90s, which was oh, so good. So goddamn good. But, um, yeah, I just, I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how good it is. 
But uh, yeah, either way, keep you keep your ears open for that, and you know, if you're an actor, uh, go down there, do it, put it in there, man. I mean, give it a shot. Uh, you know, every shot you don't take is a miss. So, shoot, give it a, give it a shot. You know, but either way, I'm. I need to go play some more <laughs> oxygen, not included, because I'm probably a little unbalancedly addicted to that game, and then. The faster I get this edited and can play that game, the sooner I can go to bed, because I'm going crabbing tomorrow, and if you guys want good content for crabbing tomorrow, I'm going to need to be rested, because if not, I'm just going to have to show up there and start drinking, and w nobody wants that. Well, I want that, but nobody needs that. Well, I kind of need that, too. Whatever. You know what I mean. Uh, either way, I've been John Norgrove. This has been Nerd Jive. Uh, stay nerdy. Hell, I'm done. Forget you guys.